Hello again. I just uh, well, I'm just in the process of uploading the, uh, the the Cornish tin mine called As Things Were, and I'm just wondering where to go now. We we, we were at my local river yesterday, in my head, of course. I think the thing about uh, making things up as you go along it, it does to a certain extent free you from hunting for photographs and reference material but since I don't do slavish copies of anything I just use use uh, the, the idea and make a painting from it but here I'm, I'm not looking at anything in particular I'm just going to go straight in I've, I've got um, sort of half clean water Raw, uh, yellow, lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt up, paints grey and burnt sienna. I'll wet the paper all over. I think, I'm thinking of Sc Scottish Highlands or Welsh Hills or Lake District. Something with a bit of, maybe a bit of water. I got a good bit of advice from Mike Porter, who's, uh, who's associated with Ron Rance. So he's made a... A, visit, uh, a video of Ron Manson, so it's on YouTube. Mike Porter, have a look. It's lovely to see Ron. I, I had his video, well, one of his videos, 35 years, 30, 34, 35 years ago. Someone in Castle and Wellington Arts Group I had a copy and I, I bought both his books on big, big brush watercolour. And it's lovely to see that he, although he lives in America now, he's still going, still, still painting. And showing his, with him using the hake, which was his method, should I say? I was, I'm sure the hake was about before he got hold of it, but but he turned it into an art form and uh, lovely. We we're very grateful to to him for that. So, so I'll, I'll warm the paper up. We'll just let the let the let the uh, imagination just go. Nice bit of colour in the sky. A uh, bit of bit of red in the top. A bit of alizarin, alizarin and light red. Trying to keep the hairs of my brush together. So if I put water in, I'm just. I'm going to use some paint grey for my clouds on here. A bit of alizarin and a bit of Payne's Grey. Nothing wrong with Payne's Grey. I have a love-hate relationship with it. A bit darker here and there, just to put a bit of shadow in these heavy clouds. Right, now we've got some interesting things going to happen there. Now using those colours, a bit of ultramarine introduced into, into this. Ultramarine, a bit of red. And a bit of warm. Uh, just get some colour in on that side there. These highlands coming, a bit of lemon yellow. And we'll come up the other side here. A bit of And we can have some some shadow. Maybe no water, I don't know. I forgot. So just uh, some light coming through here. And we'll have a bit of a path going through the through there. 
bit of green. Clip of paper. I've got a cup of tea going here as well, as usual. Cheers. Alright, let's put some harder, harder stuff in there now. That probably could do with it being a bit... bit... nice and warm. Right, okay. So let's put in a bit of... bit of tree stuff coming down here. When you're painting on wet in wet, you need to thicken up your paint. To, as, otherwise it'll just bleed into the, the wet paper. Let's put a little bit of a, bit of a hillock. There. And I reckon we can just etch out a little bit of, bit of a card. Right, okay, so we'll do something different over here. Just gently lifting out, not just scraping with the corner of, or the flat edge. But as usual, this is so easy to overwork. <sighs> but we're trying to make a bit of interesting landscape here with some trees and rocks and Try to stop yakking here, but let's just put in some trees here. Just a few trees just showing up behind here. Uh, there's two even there. Uh, just lift, lift out some bits and pieces here. Uh, Nice dark in there. I'm mixing some Payne's grey in with, with it. Okay. Put a bit of shadow in here. Right, just a bit of texture here and there. Now we call it Scottish Highlands, but it, it's not really. It's, it's just, as you can see, I'm just making it up as I go along. some nice dark 
upgrade. I don't want to do too much on this, I'll just just show. No, I don't like that. I'm going to have to change that, put a bit of tree in there. I'm painting almost dry here. And as you come towards you, you need to warm up with red or sienna, something that will just give an impression of, of closeness by using colour, warm colour. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, just a nice bit of, bit of red in there just to warm that up. Just trying to show this pathway through here. I can put some figures on here. Just trying to show the shape of the ground here. And then we'll put in some some bluer colour on this ridge here. Maybe a little bit of Bercia, uh, raw sienna with it. some little fields. Right, okay, that, that'll do is just a just a quick bit of painting right like clean my hate. Now want a bit of dry brush now on this path, so I'm gonna use a bit of bit of light red, a bit of ultramarine on the red side. Just So the swig of my tea. Now we're just on the figures and and some rigor work.
Yeah, that's a little bit of stuff in there. Just a little bit of warm, rough ground. Just using my burnt sienna and my ultramarine. Right, that, that will do. Um, figures. So I will put, uh, this is coming down here. Just standing along here, with a shadow. Right, okay, I'll sign it. Might put a couple of boys in. This brush is just too long for to do my signature. All of a sudden, it was alright. My bird. Okay, that'll do. There we are, Scottish Highlands, North Wales, Brecon Beacons, anywhere really. Just a couple of figures walking along, just a, a quickie by my standards. Okay, so there's there's some Highlands in the background. We've got some painted blue. We've got some rough, scrubby, rocky ground here and there. Um, I don't really... No, I'm going to let those go. They're, they're so small that they're, they're, they're not going to make much difference if I start to shade them. They're okay. So, I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed doing it, but try making things up yourself. It's a good exercise. It frees you up from ev everlasting looking for reference material and going out and getting photographs or going online and pinching stuff there. It's all fair, as long as you don't copy it, as long as you just use it as an idea, the, the landscape, they, the, hmm, well, what can I say? So I think I've got everything in that. I've got a stormy sky, what I think is supposed to be a stormy sky, nice distance on these hills, mountains, and then some blue here, probably too blue. So have a go, have a go and make, make things up. Use your imagination. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.